Welcome back, brothers and sisters. Braden, Tim, Second Legacy, you are amazing. And this episode, yeah, you're going to need to send this one. And my advice overall, head on a swivel, guys. Because it turns out that Trump supporters are getting death threats, violence threats, threats and promises of visitation should Trump win if they vote for him, all based on a sign, a political expression, if you will. Hmm. Yeah, this one's going to get y'all. Everything will be linked in the description box below. And please, guys, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, turn the notification bell on, spread freedom to and fro. And now, Tim, let's get into this. This one, this is, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Yeah. Letters are being dropped in people's mailboxes because they had a Trump sign right. in Pennsylvania. Yeah. This, this, these swing state of swing states, right? This is the Keystone State has never been more an accurate moniker for, the, for that state. Um but let me just let me read you a few of these quotes and kind of get your thoughts on this. And then we'll kind of go from there. All right. Mm -hmm. So we're diving straight into it. Uh, breaking Trump supporters in Pennsylvania, where Trump himself was shot, are facing threats of violence. The voters are located in Philadelphia and receiving these frightening letters. Now, keep in mind, Philadelphia is a very important Democratic stronghold. They have to have turnout there and suppress vote for Trump there. If they don't, they lose. Very ominously, the letter starts relatively normally, but toward the end, it gets threatening. This is from the letter. By supporting him, you are declaring your public support for a disregard of the law, civil discourse, and unity. Irony. You are indicating your hatred for minorities, immigrants, foreigners, women, education, the rights of your fellow citizens, and the right of women to make decisions over their own health care needs. This is a reminder that your visible support comes with a price and at a cost. There will be consequences. Your vote for this guy is seen as treading on my rights. You tread on me at your peril, mother effer. We look forward to visiting in the future. Mm. Now, well, I'd be Guys, sitting outside with some of my friends waiting for that visit. Right. right. <laughs> now here, Don't threaten me with disclaimer. a good time, sweetheart. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll put a disclaimer out there. We don't know who wrote this. We don't know if it was a lefty, if it was a righty. We don't know if this is just a joke. We don't know if this is a prank. We don't know if this is serious. We don't know who wrote this and for what intent it was. I'm going to go with it's not a joke. Face value. I, yeah. Let's just take it with face value. This is not okay in our country. But unfortunately, the temperature, I can believe this. I can I can fully believe this really happened. And there's an image right there of the actual letter. So this isn't like a a mockery kind of thing. No, um, no the fact that they're then, going around putting it in the mailboxes, first of all, just going around stuffing things in people's mailboxes, I believe is in violation of some law. So um, the, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know. But it, it, it it's it's not something you do as a joke. If this is a joke, there's no punchline. This is just a threat. Right. Um, and I thought it was kind of funny at the beginning, and you called this out. You, you kind of made a, a comment as you read it. Um, you know, the first sentence: by supporting him, you're declaring your public support for a disregard of of the law. Kind of like threatening people with letters in their mailbox. Civil discourse, mm -hmm. because this is such a civilly, you know, friendly discourse of this letter here. This is definitely friendly civil discourse, threats included, and unity. Definitely a unifying letter that they put in his mailbox. Um, so the hypocrisy is called out in that first sentence. It's like mm -hmm. you right. have no regard for the law and you're not civil and you're not for unity. You mf -er, I'm going to kill you. Correct. Okay. Correct. And actually, <laughs> actually, it wasn't quoted in the actual tweet, um, but I just actually read the first, the intro of this letter. Listen yeah. to this, to your point. This is not what I just read. This is a, before it. We are writing with a concern about the level of political violence in the country during this election year, <laughs> as well as the threats to our democracy and freedoms. So we are asking you to take a close look at the truth, facts in the future for a better America where we can all live in harmony together. And if you don't, I'll effing kill you. Right. Like, so now look, this, what? This, clearly this person has bipolar disorder, right? It, There's something going on. So this is not a joke that for, okay. All this in totality is now telling me, giving me a clear picture of this person's mental state. This is somebody suffering obviously from the leftist mind virus. And they have some sort of, of disorder because they start off feigning like they care about unity and being friendly and, and getting along and harmony and hug, hug, kiss, kisses, uh, you know, everybody's happy, joy, joy campaign. Uh, but that's not what the left is. That's the facade. What you get in the body yes. of this letter is the mental disorder that is leftism. It starts off friendly and hugs and kisses and we're all friends here. And it ends with, I'm going to kill you, basically. It's a threat of violence. Right. It doesn't say I'm going to kill but you, but it says, I'll see you soon. I'll that's an implied yeah. threat, right? Yeah, 100%. So, but um, yeah. what's it's interesting, though, here, in, and I'm, I'm looking at the letter itself a little more in depth. So there's that verbiage of, like, for example, it ends at patriotic citizen and a true American. Okay, well, 
that's interesting. And then the little the little logo stamp on the bottom right down here, don't tread on me, live free or die. So it's kind of a don't tread on me 2A stance. And then it's also the New Hampshire state motto, live free or die. Mm -hmm. I'm like, man, they're just. Live free or die, vote for the communist. Yeah. You're like, wait, wait, like there, there's a lot going on in this letter. <laughs> I mean, well, the, the level of stupidity is through the roof. I mean, clearly it's written oh, yeah. by somebody with a leftist mind virus and it's not a joke. I mean, this, this, this is the drib the, the mind dribblings of, of somebody that is not right in the head and clearly a Democrat voter. So, um, yeah, I mean, the FBI should be involved, but they won't be because the FBI probably wrote the damn letter. <laughs> well, allegedly, 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 alleg I said probably we don't, we don't that, that's you did, synonymous you did. with allegedly. I just want, I, you're, you are correct. I just want to really, really lay that on thick on that one. Um, <laughs> Somebody doesn't want to knock on the door. Someone. <laughs> yeah. No one. Um, We're a boot to the yeah, doors, the, maybe. Yeah. Oh my God. But the big thing on those guys and, and honest to God, this is where it boils down to keep your head on a swivel right now. We are in an extremely high temperature pressure cooker politically in our country and what I think is going to happen, and should this happen, and Trump wins, dude, you're going to have from November 5th until January 20th, a whole lot of wow going on. I don't yeah. know what it is, but there's going to be a lot of emotional expression. That's a good way to say it, Tim. They, they, emotional they, expression. They, uh, they, they had a good time in 16, for sure. Um, they, Remember the pink hats? Yeah. Yeah. So there, there will be vandalism and there will be rioting and there will be all sorts of stuff if he, if he Emotional wins. Emotional outbursts. And there could be problems if he loses. So it, we're heading into a very tumultuous no season here, folks. Uh, just, yeah, keep your powder dry, hunker down. Um, and like Braden said, keep your head on a swivel. All Please. right. With, with all that being said, um, if this guy makes any moves and, and, and makes good on the promises in this letter, we'll make that video too. Hopefully they don't. These people are not right in the head and you need to avoid them. They have a certain look about them. And this look is an evolutionary thing that is it's basically telling you an idiot is approaching, right? You'll see the thousand yard stare, the, un, the you know, the, the, the unkept look. That's nature's warning yeah. saying it, go to the other side <laughs> of the street. Nature's, nature's <laughs> yeah. So anyway, so, so, so that's nature's warning on the crazy coming at you. What's yeah. nature's warning on the crazy eyes when you're dating a girl. Yeah, if you want to know what that look is, just Google Keith Ol Olbermann or whatever his last name is. Olbermann, yeah. Yeah, and uh, that, that's the look I'm talking about. And the glasses Crazy, that yeah. Mark Cuban's wearing that makes him look like Rachel Maddow. That, that's, that's the mental illness coming through, showing you, hey, get to the other side of the street and let this person pass. They're not right in the head. All right, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you guys soon.